in order for someone to live their own life, they will need to be guided from within. And this doesn't mean that external guidance doesn't have a time and a place. But of course, unless someone can know from within what is right for them, they're going to end up going down the wrong path and doing things that don't really serve them. And if someone has experienced some kind of trauma during their formative years, this is something that can be incredibly difficult. And so a few days ago, I ended up writing an article titled Can Developmental Trauma Cause Someone to Be Dependent on External Guidance? One thing that someone may find is that it is often difficult for them to know what to do. So there will be how this affects them each day and the effect that it has on their life as a whole. As a result of this, they are likely to have two ways of deciding what it is that they need to do. Firstly, they can ask others for advice. And second, they can expose themselves to a lot of information and then do what is logical. When it comes to the first option, they're going to be like a child who needs their parent or parents to tell them what to do. This is not to say that looking towards others is bad. It is just that now that they are an adult, other people are not always going to know what it is that they need to do. Of course, there will be times when they will know, but there are also going to be times when they have absolutely no idea what is best for them. Therefore, to be overly reliant on others for guidance is not truly going to serve them. When it comes to the second option, they are going to need to have access to a lot of information. This will give them the ability to cover all angles and then to make the right decision. Having access to a lot of information is not a bad thing, but once again, this is not necessarily going to allow them to know what is best for them. Furthermore, this could just cause them to feel overwhelmed. Ultimately, they could speak to the most intelligent people on the planet and have the best information available but this won't necessarily shine the light on what they need to do. Another human being and information can guide them, but as they are not them and this information will have come from other human beings, it can only do so much for them. One way of looking at this would be to say that while external guidance can help them along the way, they need to know where they are going, or at least to have a rough idea. This emphasises what external guidance can and can't do. If there have been moments when they have felt as though they have been on the right track, there will have likely been far more when they haven't. However, when it comes to the latter, they may have often felt as if they were doing the right thing. This is perhaps because someone else or a number of people said that this was the right thing, and or they came to this conclusion after weighing up all the information that was available. But this might not have been how they felt for very long, with them soon feeling frustrated and even empty. At this point, they could be sick and tired of living in this way, and wonder why it is often so hard for them to know what to do. It could be as though this is just what they are like, and they just have to put up with this for the rest of their life. If they were to look back on their life, they may find that they have been this way for as long as they can remember. Thanks to this, they could come to the conclusion that they were just born this way, and that they are missing something that other people have. There is a chance that they were not born this way, or are missing something, and that what took place during their early years played a big part in why they are this way. Their developmental years may have been a time when they were often neglected. From practically the moment they were born then, they would have missed out on the love that they needed to be able to grow and develop in the right way. To handle the pain that this would have caused them, they would have automatically repressed how they felt and gone into a shut down, collapsed, frozen and disconnected state. This would have caused them to become estranged from their emotional self and thus strip them of the guidance that this part of them would provide. 
it is this part of them that will play a big part in allowing them to know what is right for them in each moment and their life as a whole. By not receiving what they needed, there is a chance that their brain wasn't able to wire properly, which, in addition to being shut down, is why they find it so hard to connect to how they feel. Their right brain develops first, whereas their left brain develops after. And this is why they can have a well-developed intellect and an underdeveloped emotional self. Taking this into account, there is nothing inherently wrong with them and how they are isn't their fault. They are this way due to what took place when they were a powerless and totally dependent infant. Reconnecting to themselves is likely to take courage, patience and persistence. The reason for this is that their body is going to be carrying a lot of pain and arousal and working through this arousal and pain will take strength and it won't happen overnight. So with that said, if you find it hard to know what to do in each moment and when it comes to your life as a whole, then please know this is not because there is something inherently wrong with you. It is not your fault. It is due to what took place during your early years and the impact that this had on you. But through gradually reconnecting to yourself, your body, then you will gradually be able to know what is right for you in each moment and your life as a whole. And to do this, as I said, you may need to work through a lot of emotional pain and arousal. And this may require the assistance of a therapist or a healer. But the main thing is that you do what you need to do to gradually reconnect to yourself and don't give up on yourself. Don't abandon yourself because your life is important. And so do what you need to do to live a life that is worth living. If you would like to find out more about the services that I offer, please go to www.oliverjrcooper.co.uk or email me at info at oliverjrcooper.co.uk and I'm looking forward to assisting you on your journey.